A college diploma. The GI Bill sent soldiers returning from World War II off to get their degrees. And ever since, that higher education has been seen as the ticket to a better life in the United States. Helping not just those getting the opportunity, but driving the economic force of the United States as well. There's not enough college-educated white men to drive the economy for the next 30 or 40 years. It's demographics. Yeah. So you need blacks to start businesses. You need Latinos and women to be part of the economy. But over time, the cost of going to college has skyrocketed, putting increased pressure on the system to make sure young people can get there. We've got to find a way to break the back of the education system and make it more accessible, cheaper, get more people into college, uh, get higher graduation rates. That's, I think, a societal thing that we have to face and it's going to be very critical in the next you know, 10 years. And once in college, that they can find the resources they need to stay there. People that are going to college today still have to pay a significant amount of tuition, and they're going to need financing. SoFi is one of the companies that can provide that. But there's a number of companies in the ecosystem that haven't been able to withstand what's happened over the last three years, and they've dropped out in helping people pay for their college or refinance their college. Creating what Ray McGuire of Lazard calls a pipeline of talent, a pipeline as diverse as the nation is being prepared to lead. So you have to make sure that we have a robust pipeline. That pipeline needs to have sponsorship. That pipeline needs to be trained, needs to be encouraged, and it also needs to have visible examples of people who look like the pipeline so that it gives the pipeline some confidence that they too can get there. All of which feeds the American dream of enlisting all the talent we have for the benefit of us all. I benefited from living in a country that believed in my potential. And even though I was a poor kid living in a rural community, America cheered me on. This country wanted me to win and succeed, and that manifests in the ways in which all of this made it possible for me to get on the mobility escalator and ride it as far as I could and my talent would bring me.